taking you on an interactive tour with recreations of the Titanic's interior and exterior while experiencing a journey throughout history. Joining us now is Mark Locke, Titanic explorer and creative producer of Titanic the Exhibition. Mark, thank you so much for coming on to the show. Jake, pleasure to be with you. Good afternoon. Absolutely. Good afternoon to you as well. So first off, you know, I think maybe people are still trying to wrap their head around things, but, you know, talk to us about Titanic the Exhibition. You know, some of your viewers may remember 24 years ago, if you can believe it, we brought the first exhibition to Chicago at the Museum of Science and Industry. A million people saw that exhibition and uh, Titanic just is timeless. And we thought, well, maybe after 24 years, it's a good idea to bring it back. We're in Skokie this time at the Old Orchard Mall with, I think, an incredible exhibition. It's the biggest one we've ever done, 350 artifacts, room recreations of the Grand Staircase, the first class cabin, uh, a third class cabin, the boiler room. You'll come face to face with the iceberg and uh, you can walk up the steps or down the hallway of the first class, uh, the first class suites there. And it's really, uh, it's really something. It's a fun, it's a fun adventure. It's a fun story as it actually started out in real life. And then of course it ended so tragically for so many folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then of course something, you know, people might be a little confused about when I introduced you, but Titanic Explorer, that was a, sort of a title that I gave you there when I introduced you, but could you sort of tell us about how you got the opportunity to explore the wreck side of the Titanic? Well, it was actually during that run, the first time I went, during that run at MSI, and the folks that put the exhibition together thought it would be a good part of my learning curve if I at least went out to the, uh, to the wreck site on the surface. But when my name was called to actually get inside of one of those small submersibles, go two and a half miles down to the ocean floor, the lights come up and there's the bow of the Titanic. I tell you, Jake, it was exciting, but also very emotional and something that I've held with me all these many years uh, and kind of uh, it gives you that that uh, responsibility, if you will, to tell the story correctly. Uh, a story that honors the passengers and crew. So something I'll never forget, and uh, it's it's part of this exhibition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly a lar larger than life experience, I would have to imagine, you know. And stepping into Titanic, the exhibition, you guys tried to remodel everything as closely as you could. It's like stepping into a museum. How accurate is this model of the Titanic and all that information surrounding the ship? Well, we, we did our best to make it very accurate. You know, when people, take a boarding pass and walk into the exhibition. This, this model, speaking of models, uh, it's not actual size, but it's 18 feet long, very detailed, and people want to feel like they're there. You know, there was, a, as I mentioned, a great deal of excitement when Titanic sailed on her maiden voyage. So I want to bring people into that story. You feel like you're part of it. You have a boarding pass with the name of a passenger that actually uh, traveled aboard the Titanic. You get to the end of the exhibition, there's a wall of all 2,200 names that sailed. And I tell you, Jake, people won't leave the exhibition till they <laughs> find their name on that wall. Wow, it's just like stepping back in time into history, right? It wow. really is, and it's a story that just lives on, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't, it uh, seems like, get enough of the Titanic story. Absolutely. Well, that is all the time that we have for our interview today. So, Mark, thank you so much for coming on to the show. Oh, pleasure to be with you, Jake. Hope to see you at the exhibition. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And